What's going on YouTube welcome back to another GTA 5 online video so guys today we are doing a guide on the new auto shop business that was added with the Los Santos Tuners DLC we're gonna do a guide so how everything works and we're also gonna look how everything pays of course because that's also important first of all if you want to buy it you first have to go to the LS car meet because over there you will have a cutscene with Moody Man and Sasanta it's basically his girlfriend I think and after that you can go on Maze Bank foreclosure you can go to auto shop and then you see you have five locations. Now when it comes to the best location, currently I have the La Mesa one. It's the most expensive one, 1.9 mil. I think the cheapest one is 1.6 mil. So the price difference is small. That's very good. And I'm very happy about La Mesa. It has easy access. It's in the center of the city. I have a feeling that it's close to almost every mission. So most of the time the mission will either be in the south of the map or in the north. And when you have something in the center of the city, that's a good location. So the first three options for the renovations or for the upgrades is basically cosmetical and then you also have staff, you have a living quarters and then also a extra car lift. So the staff and the car lift I will explain in a bit but the living quarters is basically just if you want a spawn location in the auto shop so this is definitely something that I recommend it's also not that expensive. First time you go there, like every business, you will have a cutscene. And then after the cutscene, you basically have to do a mission. You have to go ahead and steal Sasanta's car. So Sasanta, the girlfriend of Moody Man, also a contact for this business. So just steal the car, bring it back to the auto shop. You also have to lose the cops, obviously. But it's basically a setup mission. So it doesn't really have to do anything with the business. Now the business part itself, it has three parts, this business. So the auto shop has three parts. The first part is basically where you use the car lift. So if you don't have the car lift upgrade, you will just have one of these things. And the car lift is basically to modify and repair cars for customers. So people bring in their cars, you modify them like they want to, and then you just deliver them. And then for this, you get money. So when there is a car available, you get a message basically from Sasanta saying that there is a customer. And that's how you know you have to go to your auto shop and then you will see there's a car there. So no resupply missions. You don't have to steal anything. They just bring the cars to you. You modify them like they want it. So on the bottom, when you modify these cars, it, for example, tells you this color. So candy red, you do it candy red. The same for the engine, the same for every upgrade. You just do it like it says at the bottom. And then when you're done, you just bring the car to the customer. So all this business does is basically people bring their cars to your business. When they do it, you get a message. You modify it like they want it. And then you bring it back to the customer. Very simple. If you want to confirm that you did everything right, by the way, bottom right, you will see you have like green dots. If everything is green, you did it good. So then when you're done, you just click on confirm and then you will have to pay for the costs of the reparation and the mods. This money you will get back, but you already have to pay for this. So keep that in mind. It's 35k over here. Not for every car, it's the same, but you also pay for the repair. Now, when you deliver, you have two options. Deliver it yourself to the customer or let your staff deliver it. If you do it by staff, you don't have to do anything. You basically have a staff member. He takes the car. You have to wait a little bit and then you get the money. Now, obviously, if you do it like this, you can imagine that your profit will be less because you also have to pay the staff member. But for example, if you don't want to do the mission, you can do it like this. So over here, you guys can see it. Random place, random moment. You get a message. It's done. 44K. Also, keep in mind, of course, we paid 35K. So the profit is only 9K if you let your staff do it. The other option is just delivering it yourself. And this is very similar to import export. So vehicle cargo, basically you will get 30K or sometimes 25K, I think it is. But 30K if you deliver it and then also the repair costs, you also get it. So it's 30K plus the repair costs. If you damage the car, then something goes off the 30K, just like the import export missions. So around 30K profit if you do it yourself and then 9K if you do it with your staff. So obviously don't do it with your staff. Now for the renovations, like I said, so the second car lift is basically so you can have two customers at the same time. For example, you already have a car, you forgot about this business, this way you can have two cars at the same time so you can make more money. Let's just say it like that. So the second car lift, I do recommend the second staff member or just the first staff member, I don't recommend. Basically, the second staff member is if you want to sell two cars at the same time with your staff, then you need a second one. But just in general, I do not recommend the staff members. So that was the first business kind of. So like I said, 30K if you deliver a vehicle doesn't take long. So definitely I think it's worth doing. Also in the auto shop, you have a 10 car garage, by the way. It's not a business, obviously. And you also have a mod shop for your cars. If you modify a vehicle in your own auto shop, you also have a discount of 5% on everything. So definitely if you want to customize a car, guys, go to your auto shop. 
the second business or the second thing that you can make money with in the auto shop is basically the contracts right now there are six contracts on this board you have three but in total there are six later on they will add more and a contract the best way to describe it is just a mini heist so the payment that you get it already says it on the board it's between 160 and 180k keep in mind you also have to give moody man a 10 percent cut with some of the contracts and basically a contract always two setup missions and then the final the setup missions just like we know them for example collect some info by taking some pictures of schedules or something like that for example for the train mission you have to take a picture of the train brakes you guys get it or for example get the equipment for example weapons vehicles drills again stuff that we see a lot in gta just get the equipment ready for the heist so nothing too special about the setups but when it comes to the finals some of the contracts have really cool finals guys so for example the train mission i think this is the coolest one you have to destroy the brakes of the train then you have to rob the train and you have to get out of there this is some really cool shit also for example you have to rob multiple banks in one contract so in general i think i can say that these contracts are pretty fun like i said you have six of them rockstar did a pretty good job obviously some of them are more fun than others but in general rockstar i think the contracts are a very good id now obviously when you have things like that you also have to look at the payment and how fast you can earn money so we have to compare it to the best one the ko perico heist and when you compare it to the ko it's not that good so like i said around 170k that you get and for me personally a contract takes like 30 minutes let's just say it like that maybe some of you guys can do it in 20 minutes but even then Nothing compared to the KO Perico Heist. So if you're doing it for the money, I don't think the contracts are the best way, but definitely very fun. The last business that we have in the auto shop is basically the simplest one, the exotic cars. And basically you have a list of 10 cars each day. These cars get updated. You basically have to find these cars in free mode and then you have to deliver them and then you get 20k. Now you guys can see, for example, over here you have the Krieger on the list. You have Yosemite, you have the Verlierer. These aren't really cars that you find in free mode. So the way that you find these is basically when you are driving around, you will see on the map that you have a blue dot. And these dots are basically the cars on the list. So for example, the Krieger or in this case, the Spectre. Like I said, this isn't really a car that you will find on a NPC. So just take the car. You won't have any cops. Bring it to the docks. You can see it on the map. It's yellow. And like I said, then you will get 20k. So the payment of this, obviously, I don't think a lot of people will do this. Of course, when you see a blue dot on the map, everyone will just take it. They will deliver it 20k, easy mate. But there are 10 cars on this list. And if you do it every day, it's really long and it's only 200k. So I don't think that everyone will do this. It's also not really worth the time. But it's just a extra that they added to the business. Now, some of the cards on the list, they are normal. For example, the Vapid Bullet, it's a card that you see all the time. But when it's on the board, you still have to look for it a lot, obviously, because when you are looking for something, you can't find it. But the same way, just get in the car, you will get a notification, take it over there and also 20k. So it doesn't matter if it's just a street car or a blue dot car, it's always 20k. So this business, this part, like I said, it's just a extra. It's not really to make money. So guys, that was basically it. So just to summarize it, the first business, the mod and repair business, it's pretty good. It's just easy. Just modify a car, take it there. You get like 30K, easy, simple, fast. The contract, very cool finals. But when it comes to the payment, you have to be honest, like the KO Perico is just the fastest. But still, the contracts are fun, of course, and it's not all about the money. The exotic cars, like I said, just an extra. So guys, that was it. If you guys have any questions at all, ask me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out my Discord in the description and peace out you guys.